Werewolves have never had an iconic character like a Dracula to nail the thing. The closest we ever had was Lawrence Talbot in The Wolfman. But what I got to do was I got to, like with the Zombies book, uh, take stories that are 100, 150 years old and, uh, and examine the mythology as it goes way, way back to you know, the earliest civilizations and uh, just find these great writers that really nailed one part or another of, of the dynamic between uh, uh, who we'd like to think we are and who we're afraid we actually are. And I think that that's the soul of what this book is. I got amazing, amazing writers in it. Again, um, to be able to open uh, with Angela Carter's The Company of Wolves and a, a staggering story by a staggering writer and uh, many people will only know it from the equally staggering film. That One of the writers that we have in the book, uh, Charlene Harris, doing the paranormal romance stuff, uh, wildly popular, more popular right at this moment than Stephen King, which is saying a lot. Then being able to uh, get, what, I think 18 original stories this time around, so it's more than half new stories that had never appeared anywhere else before, and uh, to be able to get guys like Bentley Little in there, uh, uh, a lot of new talent. Uh, again, you, you can take any great idea and just beat it senseless, so we wanted to have some variety in there just so that it isn't just, you know, 30 great stories of people who turn into wolves. So with werewolves and shapeshifters, um, uh, there will be uh, were jellyfish. There will be uh, were horses, and uh, uh, Cody Goodfellow's story is called Howl of the Sheep. So uh, yeah, there, there's no end to the creatures. Uh, basically, what I wanted to do was I wanted to deal with stories uh, um, that concerned uh, the secret us that we conceal, our our connection to our animal nature. So yeah, one of the coolest things about this book for me is that uh, it has very gentle and sweet stories, and then it has uh, stories of just mind-numbing atrocity. And uh, there are funny stories, there are sad stories, it's a real gamut of emotion. The sweep of the book really, really makes me happy. It's actually probably the richest and most diverse anthology I've ever been involved in. I'm, I'm really, really proud of it, and I think uh, anybody who's interested in this stuff should check it out.